So, hello guys, hello everyone. Um, my greetings to the participants of this um, event and thank you again for inviting me to participate in it. Uh, my name is Maria Petkova and um, today I'm going to give a little talk about augmented reality in dance and theater. So, um, yeah, a <clears throat> couple of words about me. I was uh, born in Russia, in Siberia, and uh, studied uh, molecular biology as well as finished contemporary dance education. And after moving to Germany, I kind of quickly switched to um, doing uh, art dance and choreography and at some point I started working with multimedia and worked with like multiple technologies already and since 2014 I'm a choreographer for post theater and worked closely with director Max Schumacher. Um, I'm also teaching workshops in um, conceptual usage of multimedia on stage as well as camera work and um, improvisation and performance so if you guys are interested I will leave my email in the comment chat. So um, what we're gonna talk about today is augmented reality. I hope most of you know uh, what it is. If not, I wanna show a little example that was an installation on Ars Electronica. And um, here we see little figure dancing on the paper and stones. And um, you see in reality, there are no <laughs> figures. Um, so this figure is just virtual and, um, oops, yeah. So what's interesting about the augmented reality that it combines the real and virtual world and um, actually the augmented reality applications, they scan the surrounding to make a 3D map of it and put the um, virtual image at some point, some geographical point of it. So this is important to know. And here we come to the next point. This allows us a real-time interaction. That means we can look from outside, from above, from left, from right, and have our 3D interaction with that. So um, this all uh, bears a, a sort of magic in itself because um, you kind of see what's not there. And this is also very exciting when we start speaking in terms of theater. Um, in the theater, there is in the recent years a big request actually for introducing new technologies and um, people look for expanding the audiences, uh, like attracting younger people and also introducing new technologies into the uh, theater and dance practice. So um, this is where augmented reality comes actually very good um, into this point. So. Um, Today I want to share just like a couple of examples from my work and what I learned from it in the hope that it could be useful for you guys or maybe entertaining. Um, it's not going to be a theoretical talk, no? So um, let's proceed. So um, one project I did with augmented reality was uh, Living Utopia. Um, we did it in Ukraine in Kharkov in 2019 uh, with Max Schumacher together. And this is where we discovered, um, investigated, let's say, um, architectural um, issues, the history, uh, past, present, and future of one very, very known building of uh, constructivistic architecture, very interesting architectural style. And um, there the audience was kind of walking around the building and at some locations, they were invited to take their smartphones and uh, see the augmented reality image, which was uh, a choreographed dance. So I want to show you a little trailer. So here you see people walk in couples. So we connected them because we didn't have enough smartphones. Um, and the Max is holding here a marker for augmented reality. People scan the marker. This is like obligatory part of augmented reality applications because that positions your smartphone in relation to the surrounding. Yeah. 
and that was a little garden uh, behind the building so if you look from a side you would think um, it was staring at bushes with the smartphones um, but actually they saw the segmented dance dancers were like in between their greens so here how it looks like. So here how it looked like, unfortunately, due to lack of time, I cannot really show you a big piece, but ask me if you're interested. <laughs> so um, this project was very fruitful in terms of what we learned and in terms of challenges it gave us. Um, a lot of them were technical and um, um, they were connected to the gadgets, to the light conditions, to the calibration of, of uh, devices. And um, if you want in our questions and answers session, I can answer your questions to that or go in detail. Um, also, another challenge was kind of conceptual in many ways. Um, first of all, is um, using the technology itself. And here where I want to kind of request you guys, like if you, this refers to any technology, basically, like, um, think of why you're using it um, what kind of role it plays dramaturgically conceptually um, because to my mind just like putting technology for the sake of of doing that is um, a bit flat let's say um, or at least in, in my perception and um, i usually like to really uh, have it for some dramaturgical conceptual sake and I think this is very important to bear in mind when you're using uh, augmented reality or whatever uh, kind of technology and in our piece here like we built it in conceptually in a way that um, we worked with the history of the building and dancers were appearing like a let's say ghost of the past like the remembrance of all these lives and events and um, stories that has taken place or place in this over 100 years of history of the building and um, that was very touching in a way um, this is how we kind of approach that or maybe you will have your own solution but like I, I think what is what is good to do is always to think of a um, dramaturgical role of, of, of your media and um, the third point was uh, unexpectedly uh, we learned a lot about human psychology because um, we realized that people, most of them, don't have much experiences with uh, augmented reality. And when they take smartphones in their hands and they immediately expect something magic to happen and like at the same moment. So, um, which meant that we really had to instruct people and like there was a lot of also uh, assistant there. Um, you would like build people and say, please guys, uh, put yourself in a line, uh, point your smartphones in this direction and wait and now it should come because otherwise people start wildly looking everywhere and try to search and, and be frustrated if, if it's not there. And especially in our case, the augmented layer, it was kind of, merging in after like three or four seconds um, and uh, that led to some frustration with people because they didn't see it immediately. So um, this is a very important point to consider um, when you're working with that. So um, yeah, we were going to proceed with this augmented reality work and then Corona came. So um, Corona came, everything stopped and um, also the development of our project stopped. So um, at the same time, we all noticed that like all the theaters and companies started like streaming like crazy their work. 
And what was my perception and also people from my surrounding is that um, it was quite demanding to make yourself sit there for one or one half hour and like watch that and not be bored. So um, I was thinking why and like I found a very nice um, explanation of Max Schumacher which he gave in one of his talks was that the theater is basically not a form uh, for video because usually people come with experience of watching like Hollywood movies or um, TV series and stuff. So the stuff which was especially produced to be streamed as a video, but theater is not. And however good it, it made, um, it will kind of never be able to compete with this expectation on, on the quality of, of representation. So um, kind of theater always loses this competition with those expectations. So what to do? And we started thinking of how kind of um, to to change to change that and make make this like video streaming a more engaging experiences. And um, this is where augmented reality also served as a kind of very powerful tool for that. So we created the project Outstage, which is basically bringing a theater on your laptop. I mean, this is kind of changing uh, transforming the experience of watching stuff um, on your laptop that means that you have a 2d uh, background on the monitor and when you look at it through your smartphone then um, a performer would step out of the monitor and like sing a song or dance uh, or say text in front of you on your keyboard as a 3d image so to make it a bit clear we'll show you a little presentation Антон Овчинников та Олександр Маншилін – це українська платформа сучасного танцю. Медіахудожниця Марія Пяткова та режисер і драматург Макс Шумахер працюють у берлінському посттеатрі. Сьогодні всі театри намагаються розширити свою аудиторію за допомогою трансляцій, які насправді зовсім не цікаво дивитися, і тому розширення і залучення глядачів не відбувається. А що, якщо зробити це захопливим та інтерактивним досвідом? В проєкті Outstage ми приносимо театр просто на ваш стіл, роблячи його відчутним, мобільним та інтерактивним. Ми використовуємо AR-технології, Max, і біт експлейн це з доллом, як це буде виглядати. Синхронізує їх з цифровим звоном на моніторі. В минулому році ми створили перформанс з доповненою реальністю в місті. В ньому танцівники виступали в якості шару AR. Ми поєднали архітектуру, живий та оцифрований танець, музику та текст в одну змішану реальність. В проєкті Outstage ми робимо наступний крок в розвитку технологій і створюємо загальнодоступну платформу для інноваційної презентації перформансів онлайн. Дивлячись через екран свого смартфону на звичайне 2D-відео, що відтворюється на екрані вашого монітору, ви будете бачити просто на вашій клавіатурі людей, танцівників, перформерів, які є 3D-зображенням, які приймають участь у перформерів, що відбувається на екрані монітору. Так, так, це вважається, що я сказав. Також, що in, what is interesting about using AR for this kind of project is that it allows to build in some interaction possibilities. So actually the uh, position of the, of the smartphone when you're watching augmented reality can be tracked and um, this can be used to influence some features of representation. Um, that means, for example, like if you go further, closer or further away, um, you can, for example, change speed or change the size of the image or something, or you can change perspective of how you look at that. And um, this is in a way introducing a little bit of gaming component um, into um, watching streamed videos. And I think this is very exciting um, in terms of perspectives of uh, streaming theater and dance. Um, yeah, and quite cool. Um, and actually, um, yeah, I mean, in my perception, if I if if I watch uh, like 
a 3D image. I, I don't know how you guys are, but um, I think if, if there is like a 3D performer in front of me on my keyboard, this feels kind of more alive um, and more engaging and um, kind of fascinating um, to like look around to interact with that um, than just like watching video streams, right? Um, so, but here comes the big challenge um, with this project and this is the volumetric capturing. What I'm talking about is that in the previous project, you saw that, or maybe you haven't seen, but the dancers were filmed in 2D. That was filmed on green screen, um, and then we were cut and put in the um, AR layer. Um, what we're talking about here, if we really want to create uh, AR experience like theatrical, then we need to find a way to 3D scan a performer with his skin, with the clothes and stuff, in movement and this is a challenge i mean this is quite a challenge because this technology does exist but it's super expensive i think so far like madonna used it for uh her concert and stuff but to us normal artists with normal budgets um it's not really reachable so um we searched a lot and we also found a way that you can do this like with multiple connect sensors for example like this um Japanese guy did and here you have, can have a little idea of how it would look like of course um, This is not perfect. He just used um, to connect Azure. This is the new version of connect and um, It's all a bit um, buggy and stuff, but still I think this is this is quite fascinating and this is like a real-time um, uh, Augmented reality experience so yeah, um, of course there is a certain challenge of how to choreograph for that, right? So, um, um, and this we're gonna explore in future, like if you can arrange this capturing in kind of um, in a space, right? With the dancer moving. But this is uh, an exciting challenge to deal with. So yeah, um, I hope um, you could, uh, I could provide some useful or some interesting information and really looking forward uh, for your questions. Thank you.